YouTube, here's Heiko. I haven't made a video in a long while. Uh, I've been way too busy around the house, fence building, lots of uh, outdoor maintenance, and uh, we're getting ready for some popcorn ceiling removal in the house. So I've been so busy and working. And anyways, uh, just don't wanna let you guys hanging. So I'm just gonna do a quick YouTube video with my cell phone. I want to show you a uh, type of Phillips head screwdriver that I picked up the other day. Not really picked up, ordered on Amazon. Uh, if I remember, I might even put the link in the description down below. Um, I'll show you the content of my Phillips head screwdriver drawer of my toolbox in the garage and then explain uh, which ones are the new ones and what's so different about it. All right, I'll sw uh, switch the cameras around and then uh, uh, show you what's going on. Hold on. All right, there we are. You can see quite a selection of Phillips head screwdrivers. Some are really cheapos, like those ones here, those super long ones. I bought them in a Japanese dollar store, not in Japan, but in Southern California. Um, apparently, Southern California has enough Japanese people that you can even find a Japanese dollar store. And then a ton of those are still um, leftovers from my dad that I brought over from Germany. Um, this here is a Belzer, Germany, 1,000 volts, electricity, rated. There's some other yeah, German stuff, even cheaper. I mean, this is cheap tools, but from brought over from Germany. Um, some of them are really just beaters that I use all the time. Uh, tips are getting there, you know. Um, here's some, they are pretty nice. This is a phalo. Phalo in the German pronunciation. This is also made in Germany. Uh, this is actually a posy drive too. So this is not a Phillips head, it's a posy drive. Um, sometimes you really have to pay attention. They all look so similar, but they might not work in. So posy drive uh, screwdrivers don't fit in a Phillips head screw really well. And of course not the other way around either. Uh, then I have my newer set of, uh, what are those here? They're also Phalo, made in Germany. This is also a Posey drive, number two. This is a Phillips head, number two. You can see that um, I'm using this the most. The writing on the handle is already almost gone. Um, then I have a Phillips head one, and even have a Phillips head three. You need all the sizes. But the newest ones in here are those three. This is a stubby, just uh, bought off of Amazon. They had a deal on it. It's uh, just a quarter inch drive uh, for a bit. Uh, nice stubby short handle, you know, for those hard to reach places. Mate, uh, it's v Weha Tools USA. I'm assuming it's made in the US. I'm not 100%. It doesn't say that specifically. And then the other two that kind of stand out are the Vessel. Vessel, made in Japan. So um, I don't know if you remember from one of my previous videos, there has been this uh, ZX600C, also known as a, let's zoom out a little bit, zoom. Uh, it's also known as a Ninja 600R Kawasaki. And uh, back in the 90s, they used Phillips head screws. No, I shouldn't say that. They They had a type of, screw that looks like a Phillips head, but it was made in accordance to the Japanese industrial standard, JIS. So all those Phillips head screws on those older motorcycles from Japan, Honda, Suzuki, uh, Kawasaki in the 90s, 80s, 70s, they used JIS screws, which looks like a Phillips head screw, but uh, the angles of that little that little head are completely different. <clears throat> and therefore, if you use a regular Phillips head screw driver, a screwdriver, you might strip out the, the JIS screw head. So if you have an older Japanese motorcycle, why are all the drawers open? My goodness. Um, if you have an older um, motorcycle that still uses those JIS um, screw heads, 
using a normal standard Phillips head screwdriver, especially if it's a worn out older one, is not a good idea because you're just going to damage all those screws on the motorcycle that I just showed you. All the, uh, all the screw heads are beat up already, st stripped and really terrible. Um, in the meantime, in the last 20 years, Japan has uh, pretty much joined the rest of the world using either the uh, DIN, which is the Deutsche Industrie Norm, which is a German standard, or they just have adopted regular Phillips head screw standard. So nowadays Japan doesn't use the Japanese industrial standard anymore. So nowadays uh, there are no written JIS standards anymore. And so even the Phillips head screwdriver or the uh, screwdriver companies um, really can't, uh, uh, can't follow Japanese standards anymore because there is no Japanese standard anymore. There are a couple companies out there that claim to make JIS uh screwdrivers that are specifically made for those old-fashioned 1990s, 1980s, 70s and earlier um, screw heads, but that's not the case. They are usually just uh, modern German industrial norm or uh, more like international standard uh, Phillips heads and uh, they, as long as they are new, they will work on those old uh, JIS um, and one of those companies is Vessel. Vessel, and here on the back you can see it says Made in Japan. And they advertise um, that these will work with, um, you know, what's what to call it, JIS screws. Because they came out with a design. Here's the uh, big drawing, so it makes it a little easier. They call it New Jaws Fit. They are supposed to be able to work on uh, Phillips heads, Posey drive, and the JIS because they have this really grippy surface. It's it's kind of serrated here. Let me zoom in even a little more. No, in, not out. Michael, come on. <clears throat> Where are we? I don't know if you can see it. My camera on my phone is not the best. It's, it's kind of like, it has like steps in it. And uh, that's supposedly so sharp that it won't slip on any of those different types of screws. That's why I bought them, relatively inexpensive. I bought the, not the full set, uh, I just bought the most common size. One is the number one, and then one is the number two, um, you know. That's what you need. Um, if I like them, I might order a number three as well. So far, they have helped me, um, you know, on this motorcycle, the, the carburetors, those uh, K-Hin carburetors, they have tons of those little Japanese screws on them. They all look like Phillips, but they are not. Uh, in some cases, they were already kind of stripped. So I used those uh, vessel screwdrivers to get the old ones out, replaced a few, and uh, they seem to be working really well. Uh, I'll, I'll put the link in the description. I don't remember exactly. Each was like 10 bucks, 12 bucks. They sell them in kits as well. There's another Japanese company called Hozan, H-O-Z-A-N. Um, they also claim to be uh, JIS standard screwdrivers, but like I said, nowadays there is no J JIS standard anymore, so nobody actively makes JIS screws anymore, so the, the screwdriver manufacturers really have no standard to go by, um, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, the, the shape of a Phillips head screwdriver has also changed over the years a little bit. So back in the days, the, um, the Phillips head was designed uh, to cam out of the screw head if you would reach a certain torque, so you wouldn't over torque the screw. And so this this slipping out of the out of the slot or out of that little cross was intentional. The newer international norm, German industrial norm, Phillips head screwdrivers, they have rather sharp edges and they are not designed to cam out. That's why the really new um, 
German industrial norm Phillips head screwdriver will somewhat work for those older Japanese screws as well. But um, yeah, with this jaws fit from Vessel, with this little serrated profile, as you can see here in the drawing. Um, why is it so much glare here? Here we go. Um, with those little serrations, it seems to be working really well. They also have a version where um, the, 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 sh the shaft or the, uh, the metal goes through the entire handle and you can strike them on the back. And they even have, um, what is it called, uh, uh, in an impact driver version. So you hit it in the back and it will, you know, because of the blow, it will go into the screw and then at the same time turn the bit a little bit, um, just like one of those here. You know, I don't know if you've ever seen those impact driver. If you have really rusted uh, screws and they don't want to come loose and you don't want to strip out the Phillips head, you use one of those. And uh, Vessel makes screwdrivers, hand screwdrivers that can be hit with a steel hammer and have this um, this impact driver action going on. They are, of course, more expensive. All right, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Now it's already a 10-minute video. I hope you will forgive me for rambling along about my screwdrivers. Try out those vessel screwdrivers if you have a Japanese motorcycle and you're frustrated about stripping out the screw heads. Oh, here, yeah. this is one of my favorites. Hot set, as we Germans would say. This was made in West Germany, so West Germany ceased to exist with the reunion of East and West Germany in 1990. So this one was made before 1990. I don't know exactly when. It's left over from my dad. This is a really good one. Anyways, you guys um, got the full uh, flow of my Phillips head screwdrivers. And maybe next time we're going to look at my flat head screwdriver. Here. Maybe. All right, guys. You take care. Have a, a good week. And uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like those kind of videos.